As Bruce just mentioned, winter storm Yoshi is expected to give us a range of problems this weekend. Power companies are doing their very best to be prepared for everything that is coming our way. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is live at Eversource with a look at what crews are doing there. Well, Dennis and Denise, this is going to be all hands on deck here at Eversource. They have all of their crews ready to go. And then on top of that, they have outside crews on standby ready to get called in to tend to all of the snow, the sleet and ice. Driving through the state, you've probably seen tree trimming. In other spots, you may have seen poles and wires getting replaced. All of that work done year round is in preparation for big tests, like the one Winter Storm Yoshi is expected to present this weekend. We've done so much, you know, investment in the system that it is, you know, as strong as possible. But even the best preparations might not be able to withstand a severe winter wallop. This weekend, we're expected to see snow, sleet, and what Eversource says could be the biggest factor in determining power loss ice and ice can be you know problematic for the electric system if it builds up on our lines or even on tree branches and those branches come down on our lines Eversource representatives say downed trees are the leading causes of outages so they have a full slate of crews pre-positioned around the state others are already on standby and more will be added if necessary so they're ready to go wherever there may be outages or damage that we need to respond to while we're still hours away from the first snowflakes the hardest part for these crews is the uncertainty of, you know, where will the ice be? How long? How, how much ice can we expect? That still seems to be a little uncertain. Um, so that's kind of tough. But regardless, we prepare for the worst. Now, in the meantime, folks can prepare for the worst by making sure they have an emergency kit. Now, in that kit, you're going to want to have flashlights, food, medication, and pet food in the event the power goes out. That's the latest live here in Eversource. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. And Matthew, thank you.